So a habit is essentially formed by repeating the same action in the same context. You want to try to build consistency around the practicing. So try to do it at the same time of the day, preferably in the same location. So let's say when you get home from school or work or something, you just spend 15 minutes in a certain room with your instrument practicing. So my first tip to build a good routine is to have a place in your home where you have your guitar and your amplifier ready and you can just like put your phone on the table, plug your guitar in and start playing. So it's as easy as possible to get started because if you have your amplifier in your basement and your guitar in your closet and you have to kind of connect everything to get started, it's going to be harder to do that every day. So just make it as easy as possible for yourself. And then when it comes to building habits, it's actually recommended that you do less but more often, and ideally every day. And it takes around two months to actually build a habit. And I know that it's not always possible to practice every day, but that could be your goal. So for example, in the morning, you probably brush your teeth, you eat breakfast, and you just add 15 minutes there of playing guitar, and then it kind of happens automatically in the beginning of your day, and you don't have to worry about it later. What helps also in practicing is that you have these achievable goals, so you stay motivated and it's fun to start every day. You know what you're gonna do, and it's uh, achievable. When you select a song, try to select one that's not way too difficult for you. For example, you can go to the search in the homepage, and then filter out songs. So for example, if you're on level five, you can select songs from level four to six and see what you find from there. And then when you have a song that's kind of suitable for you, I recommend practicing it like a small bit of time. So when you open the song, in the song overview screen, you see that you have the song parts. For example, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. You can select just the verse and then go to practice mode. And then on the timeline on the bottom, isolate, for example, just two bars and on a slow tempo also, just slow it down so it's not too hard. So kind of try to set goals that are actually achievable at that session. How a musician can help with this is you can set up, for example, notifications in the app. There's a bunch of different varieties of it, like there's notifications for when a friend of yours passes you in a song that you're both competing on, or when new songs that might interest you get published. And then there's the weekly challenge, which is great for forming a new habit. Every week we put out a new challenge, so if you turn on the notifications for that, that's always something people look forward to. Usually that keeps people going throughout the week, and before you know it, it's, you know, time for the next weekly challenge song. So there's a lot of options in Musician for helping you form new habits around practicing. What really could help is to keep it interesting for yourself. You don't have to feel restricted to the learning path that you're on. You don't have to go through mission after mission, task after task. But you can always vary your practice sessions just to keep it interesting. I mean, there's tons of content inside your session and you can just go and explore. For example, you could have like uh, Wednesdays when you do weekly challenges instead, or Mondays when you play metal, your metal Mondays, and go and explore the collections and the workouts. Find something new for each practice session. I think it's also really helpful if you find a partner, like, like a buddy, someone to spar with. Have someone who helps you get up from the couch and get practicing. 